when I was 16 years old. I saw the movie West Side Story, and I completely fell in love with it. And when I joined the New York City Ballet, and there was Jerome Robbins right in front of me, I couldn't believe it. One of Jerry Robbins' greatest strengths, of course, was his storytelling. I mean, his first ballet, Fancy Free, was a huge hit, three sailors on lead. Jerry could coach you. He could get a character out of you like nobody else. He was fantastic at that. And then he did other ballets where story was the emphasis, like the concert, this great comic ballet, which is the greatest comic ballet ever made. <laughs> There'll never be another one like it. He had an unbelievable sense of humor. And then he could be as dramatic as they come when he did the ballet, the cage, all the bugs, the bug ballet, we call it. Only J.A. Robbins could do something like that. New York City Ballet was the place that he wanted to be part of. The great names like Balanchine, a unique combination I've heard stories that Jerry wrote Balanchine a letter, you know, hire me in any capacity. Balanchine hired him as a dancer and as a choreographer. They couldn't be more opposite, the two of them. Balanchine being extraordinarily prolific. Whereas Robbins had a much harder time producing work. scrutinizing the music, he was questioning his own decision-making. It was a very difficult process to be a part of as a dancer. He admired Balanchine more than he admired anybody and wanted to emulate him. Slow, take it easy. Good. But he realized he had to be his own man. Balance would say, I want more, I want more. Give me a maximum. Give me 110%. Whereas Jerry would say, hey, come on, Mark, take it easy, take it easy. Don't, don't give me 100%. So he wanted more of a human aspect to emerge. Around 69 or 68, Jerry Robbins started doing this ballet to Chopin music, and he did it, it seemed like, for over a year. Finally, this ballet emerged. It was called Dancers of the Gallery. It became one of the biggest successes in the New York City ballet history. And it established him as a great, great classical choreographer. Robbins became synonymous with Chopin. He made the definitive statements choreographically about Chopin. When Balanchine died, I went to Jerry because now we were co-directors, and I said, Jerry, please do West Side Story. I remember I pestered him, I said, Jerry, we want to do it. And finally, I prevailed. I've never seen West Side Story, including Broadway productions subsequently. Nobody can dance it like me. I 
our dancers in sneakers and this for their hands. I mean, it, it doesn't get better than this.